This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, this is the question that every single guy is asking these days to me. I'm getting a lot of messages, a lot of mails that which project we have to show in our resume. So guys, you can show any project. For Selenium interview point of view, people are not bothered about your project. People are bothered about your framework. Today, in fact, I got three calls and they were asking that, okay, hey, Naveen, can you help me that how to define a Selenium project in my framework? Will you teach project? No, we don't teach project, right? We teach framework. So you don't need a project. You can take any project, whatever your current application in your company, either it is healthcare, either it is HR application or banking application or an e-commerce application, you can take any application. If it is a web application, you have to automate. You should know the framework design. That is very important. Most of the people are getting confused because maybe they are fresher. They are not into automation. They don't know what is automation. They don't know what is framework. They really don't have any IT experience. That is totally OK. I totally understand your situation, guys. But please don't assume that, OK, hey, can you give me people ask like that? Can you give me some good Selenium projects? I cannot give you Selenium projects. Every project can be automated. Every application can be automated with Selenium. If there is a web application, Selenium is there. So I'm talking about in terms of Selenium only. So I would advise you right now what exactly you have to write in your resume, guys. You pick, let's see, your, if you're showing five years of experience, right? You take your first project number one, okay? Something like this, project number one, let's see, you're working in some company. Let's see ABC company, abc.com or whatever the ABC company is there. And your project name is, the pro name of the project is, let's see some order management system. That is uh, an order management application. Or let's see if you really want to give some more appropriate name, let's see it's a typical e-commerce, okay? ABC is an e-commerce company and there is a typical e-commerce project is there. And for this particular project, you are writing an automation, either it is page object model or data driven or hybrid approach or something like this that you are writing. And that project you have to explain, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Project is not like a nobody is bothered about that, okay? Maybe people will give you, people will ask you that, okay, hey, can you give me the basic idea what kind of project is all about, in which domain, okay? What kind of application it is, but 99% cases people are worried about about the framework the test automation framework that you are using give me the overview give me the design give me the architecture of your framework what is the folder structure that you are using what are the different uh, libraries utilities that you are using in your framework what are the different uh, functions that you have created what are the different test cases that you have created all these are framework based questions Right, so don't be confused between project and the framework. For automation point of view, framework is important. It doesn't matter what kind of application is there. So if you are going, let's say you're going for an interview tomorrow and there is a company there into healthcare domain. If they are into healthcare domain and they don't bother about your e-commerce project, they just want to check, okay, what is your knowledge on framework? Can you automate, frame, can you automate web applications? Can you use Selenium properly? Can you design the frameworks? What exactly, uh, how can you redesign the concept? I mean, design the uh, framework concept. How can you end-to-end uh, -end integration with CI, CD, TestNG, Maven, and all those things, you can use that. That kind of knowledge they will check, not about your project. Because everybody is aware about, if you if you have worked upon an ABC company and if you worked upon e-commerce project, obviously you are aware about your, okay, about your application, about your project. So project is means your, your application I'm talking about and this application it can be anything it's available in the form of web or it's available in the form of mobile right or if any backend work is also there backend APIs are also there like that so don't be confused between these terminologies I really don't understand and then it's for me it's really difficult to explain and describe also that okay guys we don't provide the projects in fact in the training also we don't we don't bother, we are not bothered about the projects. We are bothered about the framework. We will pick a very good application, either it is any CRM application or any e-commerce application or healthcare domain or banking application, such application we will pick and then we will try to automate. 
Okay, so let's see in next project, you want to show that, okay, for ABC company, you worked, uh, let's see from January uh, 2017 in your resume, I'm talking about, okay, till date, you're still working in this company, right? And then your project two in the same company or maybe some XYZ company, and that the name of the project may be some uh, healthcare domain or let's see in some banking application or maybe in some uh let's say you're working in some mobility services like ola and uber something like this or zoom car or what right so you can pick such let's see hr application or maybe healthcare application and then for healthcare application again the same concept that either it is available in the form of application backend and test automation framework that kind of framework you are using so you have to explain that okay hey these are my we are using a maven project with okay let's see with, we are using test ng and uh, we are using page object model something like this we have integrated with uh, jenkins we are using git repository so all those tools technologies okay you have to explain let's see for this particular framework you are using almost everything something like this but instead of test ng you are using cucumber a bdd framework here you are using test driven development framework here you are using a bdd framework here you are using the c test driven development framework right and then some other question people might ask you that okay in your project what is your team size so now the question will start for your project like my team size is let's see 10 right what is the methodology you are using let's see we are using agile what is the tool that you are using for agile purpose we are using zira tool for that right so such kind of question people will ask and what is your sprint cycle now we are using let's see 15 days or two weeks of a sprint uh, cycle we are using so that is my sprint cycle so these are your project based question right so but never say that okay hey can you give me one automation project i always get confused that, okay what exactly what do you mean by automation project you don't have any automation project okay you have to pick application that is your current application if automation is there to define that okay yes for this particular project we are doing automation right now automation can be divided into multiple parts either it is page object model or data driven or uh, which kind of pattern you are using what is the approach keyword driven hybrid approach all those things you have to write it down over there in your resume if or if you're using some other tools let's say you're using qtp or selenium or whatever something like this so guys please don't be confused between project and the framework another thing I also i want to explain that uh, one thing sometimes people get, get okay start writing automation on knockery.com no don't please don't pay such application i never prefer if you see in my youtube video also i'd never prefer knockery.com i never prefer let's see uh, amazon.com and flipkart.com don't pick such applications don't pick first of all facebook facebook linkedin are you sure that okay you are going to work in facebook facebook is the only app social networking site okay we don't have any other social networking site just like facebook so you are not going to work first of all it's very rare chance that okay you are going to work with facebook then only you need to practice on facebook that if, if you really want to work with facebook right second thing is that if you your chances are only one percent but 99 percent cases you have to work upon your framework your typical good web application you have to use so i always prefer that okay pick any good crm application any enterprise level application any healthcare okay application you pick any banking application you can pick a small banking application any hr application okay you can pick so these are the domain specific application guys you pick right same thing if you're working on uh, apps so you pick let's see you can pick a swiggy a food delivery if you really want to join a food delivery like zomato and swiggy you can make a one basic automation framework on these okay application you can pick ola or uber if you are you okay if you are in india you can use ola but globally you can use uber app to automate because there are similar kind of application maps will be there and then uh, from to two destinations are there and driver details will be there something like this you can pick your tool uh, book a ride you have to okay uh, start the reservations and all those things so you can use such kind of applications in mobile apps also right but especially for web okay bank or oh, sorry especially for a web application guys pick at least try some healthcare e-commerce also let's see tomorrow 
uh, you got a call from uh, Flipkart. So, but you should know what are the different e-commerce applications out there and how to automate e-commerce application. It's not about you should know only and only Flipkart. You never know. You can go to Walmart. You can go to Amazon. You can go to uh, uh, Flipkart or Snapdeal or whatever. Different. There are so many e-commerce companies are there, and everybody is uh, having their own web application as well as their mobile application. Right, so you just cover, you pick one e-commerce application for your practice point of view. So right, so you can maintain every Git repository for all these applications in your GitHub account, and then you can create one framework, one basic framework for all these domains. So at least you will get to know, you will have some idea about it. Okay, hey, how exactly if someone is asking it? Okay, how will you automate a banking application? What are the different modules are there? Let's see, in e-commerce, we have search the product, select the product add to cart, make the payment, order system is there, order ID will be there. All those things are the scenarios you can think about it. So if you know these scenarios very well in advance before the interview, at the time of interview, quickly you can deliver your answer immediately because you have some idea about it. You can say that, okay, yeah, I have worked upon e-commerce application in my, okay, two years back or one year back, or, okay, and the on in the recent project also, the similar kind of application also we are using. Although let's see, you are not using it, but you are just, Okay, making it out over there, right? But if you know the things, then only you can justify your experience. Otherwise, you will hesitate to answer, and then immediately you will be caught. But okay, yeah, this guy is this guy doesn't have any e-commerce background, something like this. So these are the guys. These are the good manipulation skills. At a time of interview, you can use that. Same thing for mobile application also. So please, especially with okay, don't ask. Hey, can you give me five automation projects? No, I cannot give you. I can give you the framework for these applications. You can go to my Git repository and there are so many frameworks are available. And the pattern, see, if I ask you, what is the difference for CRM application and for any healthcare application or for a banking application, what is the difference? The design, everything will remain same, right? You will be using page object model with some hybrid approach, right? You will be writing your pages. The same architecture, remember the design diagram? The framework architecture diagram, same thing. You have to write your pages. You have to write your test cases. You have to maintain your Excel data or CSV data or XML data for the data management point of view. You have to generate the reports. You have to write your utilities, right? You have to generate the screenshot. So this is a global approach, right? This is the standard approach for any kind of application. And you, what exactly kind of project you will be using? I'll be using Maven. I'll be using, let's see, uh, a Git repository, then I'll be using Jenkins. I'm just giving you an overview, right? So these are the tools, technologies, that pattern, the framework, the, the design patterns you will be using for all these applications. So these are the common things for all the applications. On top of that, what exactly we are using? We are using Selenium WebDriver, okay, with, with Java or Python or whatever the language that you are using. So this is a way you have to explain, not like that, okay, hey, for healthcare, technologies will be changed. For banking, we will be using some different tools and technologies. No, it's not like that. So you have to concentrate on these things instead of concentrating on the respective project. Okay, like this, because the whatever the kind of application or project it is, the concept, tools, technologies, patterns, design will remain same, right? So we have to concentrate on these things instead of the project. That is my personal advice, guys. Okay, so that's why like this question is always being asked by okay, why all the freshers and uh, some experienced people also, they are into manual testing, they really want to get into automation and they always say, okay, hey, can you give me this project? Right? Okay. So guys, that's just like a small uh, correction and a small point I really want to highlight. I hope you got it what exactly I'm trying to say, right? So cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And please share with others if someone is asking you that, okay, hey, how to create the project, the difference between project and framework. Okay. So that's why I actually really wanted to cover this particular topic. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching.